One of the most popular questions that I'm asked, regardless of whether we're discussing HR analytics or strategic workforce planning, is how do I know where to start? What I recommend is starting at a high level. What are your most urgent business questions? What are they worth? From this, you're going to need to set some sort of prioritization method. And it's important to involve your internal customer because they are the ones that can give you visibility into their most pressing business questions. When we start to take a look at what a particular project may be worth to the company, there are certainly cases where you can put an estimate of the value. However, we also need to recognize that there are cases where you must do the actual work first before estimating the value. In a particular project that I did that was related to strategic workforce planning, it wasn't until the numerical analysis was complete that we could identify certain areas of potential cost savings. Only by reaching the end could we put a value on what that project was worth. Other considerations that you have to go through are how urgent is the project? Is it related to some sort of externally mandated deadline? Is it related to workforce continuity risk? What are the risks if you don't move forward with the project? Let's take attrition as a topic for project prioritization. If you were to run a project and determine the total cost of your attrition, you could then start slicing and dicing your data to get into which portion of attrition is actually costing the company the most money. Does that attrition mostly come from high volume roles, strategic roles? Is it at the executive level? Doing this type of analysis allows you to prioritize which pieces of that attrition you will try to address first. As we wrap up this section of the course, I wanted to provide some final guidelines for those trying to put an ROI or return on investment on a potential project. What is the business question you are trying to answer? What are you looking to accomplish? What is the defined goal or metric value? What will happen or stop happening when the goal is achieved? What does this equate to in dollars? And how will you measure success? These are just a few guiding questions for those attempting to calculate an ROI.